News 46 is brought to you by... Southwest Medical Associates. Look for news about their latest health care center opening soon in your neighborhood. Southwest Medical Associates. Now that's powerful medicine. News 46 is also brought to you by Red Apple Fireworks. You've never seen anything like it. Nevada's elite fireworks shopping experience. Red Apple Fireworks. News 46 is also brought to you by Markham Title Company. Your local escrow company for the last 23 years. Tonight on News 46, a town hall meeting with health care partners. The traveling insurance guy gives patients some options. And are your social security payments in jeopardy? News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Rick Vale and Rhonda Van Winkle. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell and News Across Nevada with Janet Eric. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Wednesday, June 29th, 2011. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Topping our news tonight, a town hall meeting to inform patients of health care partners of their options since Senior Dimensions will no longer be an insurance provider for this facility. Well, since April, when Senior Dimensions ended their relationship with Health Plan of Nevada here in Pahrump, many seniors have been upset that they might have to change their physicians or change their insurance companies. There are certain reasons why you might not have to change your insurance company right now, but September 30th is the cutoff date for you to pick a new insurance company. But if you're under an active treatment plan, you can wait until January. We're gonna to speak to Dr. Batty from Healthcare Partners to find out about the town hall meeting that was held here at the Prump Nugget. It's a question answer meeting there's a lot of confusion in the public especially with the senior members what's going on with their insurance companies and if they have to change doctors if they have to change insurance companies and their the meeting is to clarify what's out there and try to answer some questions that has been uh, um, the main uh, stay here in the past three four months with with, with the change in the insurance companies in, in this town i was i was told that health plan in nevada put two contracts before healthcare partners and you denied them. And I don't understand why, because I would assume that they would be reasonable contracts. Absolutely did not deny any offer from healthcare, from healthcare uh, Health Plan of Nevada or City or Dimension. They issued a termination of all doctors' contracts. The health plan issued the termination. We did not. That is the predicament that the insurance company had put us all in. If we want to keep our patient, uh, we basically have we, we have we have to have them change the uh, insurance plan. Senior Dimensions is no longer providing insurance for healthcare partners. Healthcare partners are uh, they're a group of doctors, and they, they contract with different insurance companies, Senior Dimensions, Health Planet Nevada, Secure Horizons, uh, Humana, a group of them. Uh, Senior Dimensions has uh, reduced their, uh, stopped their contract or reduced their contract with some of their uh, doctors, and uh, healthcare partners is one of some of the doctors that are in that group. And so... Patients have a couple of different questions that seem to be their most concerned because they want to stay with you guys. A lot, of, a lot of your patients have been with you for many years. They don't want to change. So they're going to either have to change the doctor or the insurance. Is that what we're looking at right now? Right. That's really uh, one of the um, main, that's the main question. What do we do to maintain our doctors? There's always, there's always a physician-patient relationship. Yeah. Always has been, always will be. And anything that comes in between that is going to cause problems for the patient. It's, uh, and that's the question. How do I keep my doctor that knows me, knows me for many years, and knows my history, and knows my body, and knows what to do with me, and just has a feel for me on how to take care of me? It's, it's, a, it's a sacred relationship for the patient and the doctor. 
Uh, so I understand why these patients are upset and they want to find a way to do that. I also feel some of the patients are happy with the insurance companies that they've been with and they want to see if they can come up with some sort of a in-between thing to keep their doctor and keep their insurance company and uh, which would be the best case scenario here. Uh, but so far that is not the case and we have to you know, get on this bandwagon or the other. Once again, to find out all of that information, you can call Healthcare Partners at 727-9000 to get more information about what is going on with your insurance company and what options you may have. There will be possibly some more future town hall meetings here at the Prompt Nugget. We'll keep you posted. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Fred Nelkin represents numerous health insurance companies, and he can help you choose a tailor-made health plan just for you. I represent many carriers. I'm in the insurance business. I have 38 years experience and I represent a lot of different companies. There's been some issues recently with senior dimensions and dropping some of the medical providers. Humana has picked up a lot of them. Do you have Humana insurance? Oh yes, I do a lot of business with Humana in their, in their uh, Medicare Advantage plans and their Medicare Advantage plans with prescription drugs here in Pahrump in Nye County and Clark County too. A lot of the medical providers in town accept Humana insurance, don't they? Yes, and they're gaining more all the time. The doctors, their offices like it because Humana pays claims fast. They pay good co-payments, good cost sharing. They're just a good company to be with. Uh, they're a large company and they're known all over. And they do business in all 50 states, which a lot of companies don't. I use them and I also use Anthem, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield. And our local doctor, um, our, our local medical facility, Desert View Hospital, also accepts Humana? Yeah, that's one of the advantages of Humana. It has the local hospital here in Pahrump, and it has all the hospitals in Las Vegas, and that's not true with uh, some of the other carriers. And that's very important. Why? Well, it's important because you need to get service. You need to know that you can go to the hospital that your doctor belongs to because they belong to certain hospitals. You don't want to have to switch hospitals. You want to go where you want to be able to go to. So it's good to have quality, good coverage that's going to take care of you. And then with Humana, they're covered anywhere in the world for emergency room visits. It doesn't matter where they are. They don't even have to be in the United States. I know the open enrollment period is coming up soon. How can people switch over? Well, a lot of people don't have to wait till the open enrollment period. We have things called special needs programs. So if they have diabetes or if they've had a heart attack or they have a breathing disorder, COPD or asthma, then they can switch now and that goes in effect the first day of the next month. If they don't have one of these special needs, then the open enrollment period starts in October this year and runs through December 7th. So they can enroll at any time there. What's some of the main concerns you've been hearing from patients? Uh, having an agent that'll take care of them and having a company that's credible. I like them to leave me in the loop all the time. They can call me anytime from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., seven days a week, 365 days a year. I don't care if it's Christmas or New Year's or Easter, you don't pick when you're gonna get sick. They have a problem, they have a concern, call me and let me help them with that. And that's really important that you have such personal service, isn't it? Because so many times people say that they call these big companies and they're not getting through to people. Well, a couple of problems. One, they'll call the big companies and they're on hold forever. Let me do that. I have lines I can get in with. The second thing, they'll call an agent. The agent sees them once. They're out of sight, out of mind. They don't care anymore. I have clients that have been with me over 15 years that I have never met. But because I've taken care of them, because I've serviced them, because they can get a hold of me all the time, if they call my local number, I do business here, I live here in Pahrump, but I do business in Arizona and California, I'm licensed in various states, they can get me at the local number wherever I am. So if they have a concern, call me, let me get involved, let me help them. They can also see the full array of all different medical service uh, insurance companies that you represent. Oh, sure. I'm willing to show them all different options. And it's, it's always, it's not what I think is best. It's not what doctor I think they should have. It's what they're comfortable with. Sometimes a woman will tell me, well, I want a woman doctor and I need a doctor that's local and somebody I can count on. Do you know of anybody? And I'll tell them what I know. If I have a client that has a problem with a doctor, I call that doctor, I go to their office, and I say, I'm having clients have a problem. You need to get this straight. And if they don't get it straight, then I'll help the client pick another primary care physician or another specialist. Great personal service. Your phone number and contact information once again. Uh, here locally is 751-3744. The Federal Appeals Court ruled that the health care reform bill is constitutional. 
The political and legal future of the sweeping health care reform bill received a big boost today after a federal appeals court in Cincinnati ruled that the law is constitutional. The individual mandate requiring nearly all Americans to purchase health insurance by 2014 or face financial penalties was challenged in federal court by a large number of individuals and groups who said people should not be forced to purchase a product like medical coverage. A partially divided U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit disagreed. The opinion is the first of three rulings that will emerge from federal appeals courts around the country in the coming weeks over the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. The issue is expected to reach the Supreme Court by year end. More than two dozen other legal challenges to the law are floating in lower federal courts. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Well, folks, coming up, a new old business returns to Pahrump. We answer your questions about the debt limit delay. We'll have all this and more right after this break. Welcome back to News 46. The Pahrump Taxi Service is now open. They will be open for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And for more information, you can call 727-TAXI. Again, that's 727-TAXI. Will the debt limit delay possibly interfere with your Social Security payments? Social Security payments to millions of retirees and people with disabilities could be threatened if the government can't agree to increase the debt limit by August 2nd. Analysis shows the government would be unable to make payments to Social Security recipients, although the Treasury Department likely could avoid delaying Social Security checks. The analysis by the Bipartisan Policy Center points up the depth of the cuts that would be needed if the $14.3 trillion debt ceiling isn't raised. It shows that in August, the government could not afford to meet 44% of its obligations. Since the $134 billion deficit for that month couldn't be covered with more borrowing, programs would have to be cut. If Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, unemployment benefits, payments to defense contractors and interest payments on Treasury bonds were exempt, that would be all the government could afford for the month. No money for troops or veterans, no tax refunds, no food stamps or welfare, no federal salaries or benefits. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And now here's Doug with Red Apple Fireworks for your fireworks safety tip of the day. Hi, I'm Doug from Red Apple Fireworks here with your Red Apple Fireworks safety tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about water safety. Make sure whenever you're igniting fireworks you have a good source of water nearby, preferably a bucket or a hose. And the bucket or other water containers should be as large as the largest firework that you're detonating. When you're done detonating fireworks, you should always make sure to submerge them in your water source for at least 30 minutes and never try to reignite a firework that didn't go off after you lit it. Instead, put it in the water source just as if it had gone off. I'm Doug from Red Apple Fireworks with your Red Apple Fireworks safety tip of the day. And now for our Facebook question of the day. Today's question is more of a comment session. What do you think of having 9-11 designated as a holiday? Well, Johan says, I don't know. I don't like celebrating the murder of anything. Maybe a memorial, but not a holiday. It is a sad day, not, oh, thanks for dying, we get a holiday. I would be a little upset if it was my loved one and that they turned their deaths into a holiday. And then Kevin says, how about an annual airstrike on 9-11? Send over a couple B-52s to level a suspected terrorist training camp. It's that time of year we will never forget, and you may be our target this year. Mary says, this should have been a federal holiday years ago. Ever since the first anniversary, I always take the day off work and attend a memorial service. My family spends the day in quiet reflection of the lives lost. The sacrifices made since. But now 12-year-old daughter knows more about what happened that day than when she was only three because of the respect we show for it in this house. The schools don't even seem to acknowledge the anniversary and don't talk about it. That is so wrong, I've actually kept her home a few times to attend services with me. George Cox says, I would say a day of remembrance would be more appropriate. Last thing I would want to see is 10 years from now, the 9-11 holiday sales circulars. It should be a day of remembrance and respect. And Kevin Moore says, 9-11 was the biggest surprise attack since Pearl Harbor Day, 12-7. A day that will live in infamy and another failure of American intelligence gathering. I would not want the terrorist groups to pick up a calendar, point out the highlighted date, and brag about how they have affected America forever. Wow. 
I know. So, so very heated argument. What do you think? Should it be a holiday or not? Well, I think that we should honor it, but I, I agree with the, with the making it a holiday. But when you go to the Memorial Day events and stuff, it really brings you back to what it's all about. But Yeah, uh, I, I think a, a day of remembrance is much more. If we make it like Chris Columbus Day where kids get off school or something, it, it loses its, you know, its yeah. importance. It's a very important thing. Oh, I appreciate those Facebook questions. Those are great. Absolutely. Folks, we've got triple digits all week long and even a little bit of rain coming up in your seven-day forecast. Don't go anywhere. We'll have it right after the break. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Hey everyone, welcome back to News 46. I'm Rick Vale with your weather. Red flag warning remaining in effect through tonight at 9 p.m. Southwest winds at 20 to 35 miles per hour with gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour will be strongest in the afternoon. That in combination with the low humidity between 5 and 12 percent make for very dangerous fire conditions. Looking at today, partly cloudy skies, a high in 97, winds out of the south southwest at about 19 miles per hour, but we're seeing very windy gusts upwards of 46 miles per hour. Our pressure dropping just a little bit on the barometer, 29.78, UV index 9, very high, sunrise at 529 a.m. and our record 115 degrees back in 1994. Looking at tonight, it's going to be clear out there for us, a low of 72 degrees, winds out of the north-northwest at about 12 miles per hour, and as you can see, gusts upwards of 49 miles per hour, very windy. Sunset will be at 8.06 p.m. and a record low of 60 degrees back in 1941. Looking at tomorrow, going to have sunny days out there with a high 96, a low of 72. Winds out of the southwest at about 13 miles per hour, so the winds are dying down for us, as you'll see in our seven day in just a minute. The UV index for tomorrow is 9, very high, and sunrise will be at 5.30 a.m. Now our seven day forecast, those are not typos. The wind is dying down for us, thank heavens. Friday, looking at about 18 mile per hour gusts, 102 for the high, 74 for the low. Saturday, 22 mile per hour gusts, 103 for the high, 77 for the overnight low. Saturday, 22 mile per hour gusts expected with partly cloudy skies, 105 for the daytime high and 81 for the overnight low. Monday, looking at 21 mile per hour gusts, partly cloudy skies yet again, 108 for the high, 80 for the overnight low. That's Fourth of July, folks, it's going to be very hot, not very windy, but still very hot. Tuesday, 30% chance of rain rolling in, gusty winds, 23 miles per hour, 105 for the high, 81 for the overnight low. And finishing off our 70 forecast next Wednesday, 30% chance of rain, looking at about 12 mile per hour winds, 108 for the high, 77 for the overnight low. And our worst weather in the nation today is Colony, Oklahoma, for blazing heat. All right, folks, the Independence Day Parade will be held on Monday, July 4th, beginning at 9 a.m. in the Calvada Eye. And announcing the Scream It Like You Mean It tour featuring Breathe Carolina and Chiodos and more. Thursday, July 21st from 4 to 10 p.m. on the dirt lot next to Threads Clothing next to Ace Hardware on Loop Road. You can call Threads at 727-4420 for more information. And folks, don't forget also we're going to have the festival coming up right over the weekend we got the uh, fireworks show on monday on uh, Jan uh july 4th big deal big big deal i'm looking forward to it three whole days at petrick park and uh you know they're gonna have movie night the first night too in petrick park but they're gonna move it over to uh in deutsch park uh -huh. the next uh, five saturdays after that but uh that's gonna be lots of fun too Movies. Yay. I love movies. Closest thing to a movie theater we'll have for a while. Exactly. <laughs> Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And from everyone up here on the Hill of KPVM, we wish you a safe evening. We'll see you here again tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Perump. <laughs>